A long time ago, I made a video about a microwave oven transformer, which, if you don't know, it's a transformer that you can find inside an old microwave. And it steps up the voltage by about 10 times, so it produces about 2,000 volts AC on the output. And it has crazy amounts of power, so it can supply like 2,000 volts at one or two amps or something like that, maybe even more. And therefore it can produce these huge, super hot electric arcs, which are of course very fun to play with, but also very, very dangerous to play with, because basically you're playing with an overhead power line. Now then one day there was a comment below that video that said, can you build a bug zapper from that? And um, well, that's what we're going to do today. So let's begin by opening up this bug zapper and having a look inside. Right, so you can see that it's actually a fairly simple setup that's going on. Basically you've got your, your power source here, you know, a couple of AA batteries, right? Then the power goes into this circuit board which converts it to a super high voltage and that is then fed into these two pins which are connected to that grid over there. So basically what this does, or what I think this does, because I don't know for sure, I don't have a schematic of this bug zapper, but what's going on here is that basically you send an electric current from these batteries through this transformer, through the primary side of this transformer, then you interrupt that current which causes a massive voltage spike on the secondary side of this transformer and that's stored in this big high voltage capacitor over here which is attached to your output and so basically you charge up this capacitor with a super high voltage using this you know transformer or induction coil basically and then eventually when a bug comes in and it connects between two of these wires the capacitor discharges through the bug that's the idea. Right, but what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this very low power flimsy circuit and we're going to attach these two pins to our big boy over here instead. So let's go. <laughs> right, here we go. So I'm going to cut off these wires right here. And then we can get rid of this circuit. Actually, this might be useful for some other projects, so I'm going to save this up. Right, now we need a piece of wire to attach to this. So right here I have a cable, which is obviously not rated for 2000 volts, but I think it'll, it'll work. So we're just going to strip this cable. There you go, the bug zapper is now done. Now we just need to get this attached to the transformer. There you go, that is our bug zapper attached to our transformer. Now we just need to get the main power attached to this uh, primary coil over here. So right here I have a power cord, as you can see, with an open end. And we are going to attach this to the input of the transformer. So I was going to use these 
so that I could plug them in but I don't have the right size for this and I also just have one of them so I'm just going to solder these wires on as well I know it's not the proper way of doing it but then what is proper about this project anyway Right, there we go. No one touch this, or this, or anything actually. Just everyone stay away from this uh, while it's in operation. Okay, <laughs> so now, in theory, when I plug this in, I should be able to zap bugs. So it's finally time to test this thing out. Right here, we've got a piece of paper towel suspended in the air, which represents, you know, a fly or whatever it might be. And now we're going to zap this thing using the Bug Vaporizer 2000, which is right behind me over here. So let's plug it in, shall we? <laughs> oh, can you hear that lovely transformer humming sound? Doesn't it sound wonderful? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I do think we killed it, don't you? <laughs> that actually works really well. It does get a bit black once you use it, so that's not very nice. I can hear the wire expanding, or, you know, something is expanding due to the, the intense heat. The bug... The bug is certainly burned, but it's not vaporized. Look, it's right there. The bug is is it's dead, right? Clearly it's dead, but it's not vaporized. Let me try once more. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'll just drop it onto the onto the bug vaporizer by hand. That might work. Right, here we go. Plug it in. Right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, so I'm afraid this bug zapper might not be designed to handle a few kilowatts of electric power because look what happened to its wires. Can the camera just focus on that? Look, there is an actual <laughs> there is there is an actual hole in me bug zapper. <laughs> oh boy, it melted itself. How awful. Well, I guess that means we have to throw it away then, which might not be that bad because it's uh, it's a death trap. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and of course thank you for watching. <laughs>